We're gonna take the trail runner's way. Just straight down the dirt, my friends. <laughs> Today's workout needs to be well fueled because we have today's a double day workout in the morning, a recovery run in the afternoon. And so on longer days like this, I like to fuel with oatmeal. We got steel cut oats today, which I then like to top with a variety of toppings. So um, obviously making stuff for the kids too. So there was fresh berries in here, but I also like to do frozen berries. When the oats are hot, I just throw the frozen berries um, in the oatmeal. And then for a little crunch, sometimes I put a little bit of grainless granola on there, a little bit of brown sugar, and it's basically just a big carb bomb. Got a little collagen protein, a little bit of cream. Oh, well, what's left of the cream? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some G1M. I'll probably drink this on while I'm driving. It's like a 25 minute drive. So I'll sip on this as we drive. I'll do two scoops. So that's 160 calories. When it comes to like track workouts, hill repeats, then um, you know, I, I don't like feeling too heavy when I'm about to go into those workouts and I don't want to make myself throw up because today I'm supposed to be hitting almost maximum effort. So yeah, that's why we're going to fuel with this. And then if I feel like I need something else, then I'll choose this because that's easier to digest than a bar. Um, but I think it's just important to for me to always be in the habit of having extra fuel with me. That's the way I look at it. It's fuel. I wanna be I wanna be strong, so yeah. Okay, that is just a mess. <laughs> as soon as the workout is done, I think it's so important to just begin recovering. So I like fresh green juice. I'll bring a jar of this and then I'll do blueberries. Steady fuel throughout the day. I'm always eating or drinking something on these days because I want to be as fueled and strong for the entire day. I am going to try out these straight from the box. I've worn them enough that they're, I think I'll be good straight from the box, but look how pretty those are. Are you kidding me? Those colors? So pretty. Can't wait to rock those. And rocking the 2015 Western States Nike Trail. This is a good year. This is when I play seventh. But they gave these out before the race. So every time I see this in my closet, it makes me smile. So we'll do that. I'm gonna go grab a yoga mat for some activation when we get to the trail. And then head out, let's do it. Today's workout is a ladder, an interval ladder workout. So we'll start off with one minute on, one minute off, two minutes on, two minutes off. So all the way up a hill and we'll go one, uh, one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minutes, and then four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. So it comes out to, I believe it's either 28 or 29 minutes of work. Then made our way back to the car. And the first thing to do was refuel. So I usually like to refuel just with real food immediately. Freezing cold green juice. So refreshing. Carbs help with inflammation. And when they're cold, 
really tasty. We got that. Bottle of BPN electrolytes. So I'll drink this as we drive. And a little bit of protein, some almonds. Look at that. It's even in like pretty glasses. Presentation is everything, guys. Presentation. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a crunchy turkey kale wrap, and then we got some mixed fruit, and then this is the chunky monkey smoothie, um, just to add some calories and proteins. Yes, all this just to beef up the body before our recovery run. For this session, I'm giving you a tutorial on running extra slow. This is a recovery run, coached RPE of four, okay? I consider RPE of three like pretty much speed walking. <laughs> four is nice jog. We are jogging for an hour. We are Bathing in mitochondria is what we are doing. But sometimes this is the hardest, most disciplined run because you don't want to run super slow after having a hard workout. You want to feel fast. You want to feel strong. You want to go hard, go home. <laughs> but that's also a great way to like not recover well, get injured, burnt out, and really tire out the body. So the recovery run, is just as much as a discipline as it is to get out and do the fast, harder intensity workouts. So there's your, uh, there's your pro tip for the day, folks. <laughs> All right, so two and a half hours of work today. <laughs> yes. And took a nap. Took a nap, yeah. I basically laid down in bed and immediately fell asleep. And then we got an hour of running and then dinner. Oh, and then food. I'm so excited because it's it's Taco Tuesday night. We are going to- go. I'm also very excited. <laughs> We're gonna take the trail runner's way. Just straight down the dirt, my friends. Time we're making dinner, I'm always like doing meat. It's like the only thing I know how to do. That's so true. Like, you're, you're good at it. Like, you like how it, hard like, is so it? Little. Like how hard is it though? Like I'm just like. We have tonight. I'll just I'll just introduce you to like dinner tonight. We we got a big um, pot here of some rice with extra salt on top packing back up those uh sodium stores we got some ground turkey meat we made three pounds of it so that we can also have some protein bowls tomorrow so just being efficient here <laughs> and then we are loving these siete grain-free taco shells so it's tuesday night it's taco tuesday night we love tacos in this family, so um, we thought we'd give these a try, and everyone loves them. So we've been eating those lately. We got cheese, we got spinach, pico de gallo, homemade guacamole, and grain-free trip chips mixed with tortilla chips. Ed, anything to add? Good, good chips and guac. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. Let's do this. All right, thanks for joining me on this day of eating. No, let's, keep, let's do it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining me on this What I Eat in a Day. I hope that you have enjoyed hanging out with 
me and the fam and seeing all the goodness that I consume because yeah, I mean, who doesn't like to watch other people eat? <laughs>